what's up this is uh, I'm a genius here and I'm going to be showing you how to set up the APN settings for straight talk this is the Galaxy S4 uh, it's a Galaxy S4 it's an AT&T variant uh, it has the LTE support and straight talk supports LTE with their new SIM card here's a straight talk SIM card phone over pop it in So, I'm going to show you the settings for the LTE network. Now, this is for the newer SIM card of Straight Talk. Straight Talk also has an older SIM card which requires different settings. If you want those, like if these settings don't work for yours, then you have the older version. Or if you know you have the older version, you can go to one of my older videos that describe the settings for that specific one. I'm going to turn the Wi Fi off. So, already you can see up top. Sorry about the quality of the video. This is an old iPod Touch recording. It says 4G LTE. Is the Wi-Fi connected? It's not connected. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it says uh, 4G LTE. I'm gonna go and show you the exact model of the phone real quick. All right. So there's the AT&T model number. That. Now let's go to the APN settings. Name I put down straight talk. APN I put TF data. You don't have to copy these down right from here. I'll have them in the description of below the YouTube video so you can just see them easier. Port number is 80. Username not set. Password not set. Server not set. MMSC is HTTP colon backslash backslash mms-tf.net mms proxy is mms3.trackphone.com mms port is also 80 uh, mcc was defaulted to 310 310 i left it as that mnc was also defaulted at 410 i left it there authentication not set apn type uh, i set these ones to default comma Super, comma, MMS, comma, high pri for high priority. Uh, no spaces for those, just just like that. Those are all the settings. Bearer is specified. It has like an LTE option, but you don't need it. Or to be simple. So now we want to speed test. Six point six point eight for the download. That's a little lower than usual, honestly. Is you range from like eight to twelve most of the time. I'll do another one right after this and see what we get though. And the upload was six point eight. Off the same 6.93 so they're both about the same I'll do it one last time lower than usual. 
I can go into the settings and show you that I was getting like 12 and stuff like that real quick. paying $45 a month for this, so to get LTE speeds on the AT&T network, I mean, it's pretty good. In other areas, I get higher speeds. In some areas, I get this, but if you have any other questions about the phone, the settings, uh, which phones work, anything like that at all, just comment below. I'll get back to you. Otherwise, I'm a genius here, and have a good day.